Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Four Bears Casino and Lodge for an exciting night of professional boxing action brought to you by Quicksilver Hill Sports and Entertainment. The opening bout is scheduled for four three-minute rounds and it is set to take place in the light heavyweight division. Introducing first, boxing out of the blue corner, weighing in at 176 pounds from Rapid City, South Dakota, Maurice Elk Jr. At his opponent, boxing out of the red corner, making his pro debut, weighing in at 173 pounds from Oxnard, California, Tenacious Danny Silva, your referee, Ed Eddie Obregon. Any question of the chief here? Any question of the chief here? Good luck to you. Let's, if you're ready to rock, let's roll. Get it back. We have a matchup of Maurice Elk and Daniel Silver. Elk in the blue corner, Silver in the red corner. Maurice Elk with a record of one and two, a fine amateur record of 38 and 12. Facing Daniel Silver in his pro debut, a 2011 and 2012 North Carolina and Virginia Golden Gloves champ as well as an amateur. There's the bell for the first round. Silver's coming out as the aggressor. Looks like he's trying to set up behind the jab. Ben, what are you seeing early? I see what you see. Silva's moving around. He's, he's uh, got some good footwork and some fast hands. Ben, for somebody making his pro debut, Silver sure looks relaxed to me. Yes, he does. Working in behind the jab. Elk is looking in a defensive posture. Silver told me early he was going to take the fight to Elk. He's making that prediction go true. Oh, a good left jab is knocking Elk back a little bit. Elk has yet to throw a meaningful punch. That's a very unorthodox style by Elk, Ben. That sweeping left hand didn't get anywhere close to Silva. Silver continues to be the aggressor. Elk is continuing to be in a defensive posture. I like how Silver's working behind the jab. I always believe the jab's the most effective bo punch in boxing, man. Well, 90% of your combinations are going to start with a jab. It's hard to explain why Elk is so passive in this first round, but Silver's really taking it to him. Oh, I think El Silver landed a pretty good punch there. He's looking for a spot. It almost looks like Silver is the hunter and, and, and Elk is the hunted. That's right. Silver coming up, again working behind the jab. Elk continues to be in the defensive posture. I think that amateur experience and champion experience for Silver is showing early in the bout. Well, sure is. Left hook by Elk, he counters for the first time. Uppercut misses by Silver. That's a very strange style Elk has been. It looks like he holds his hand. Oh, Elk is down. Elk is down. Did you see the punch, Ben? Oh, I believe it was a left. Five, six, seven, Elk beats eight. the count. He's not exactly on solid legs. Silver has a very determined and relaxed look in his face. Action continues. Silver's coming in. I'm not sure if Elk is going to survive the round, Ben. I don't like to see his hands so low down by his waist. Oh, another right hand lands. Elk is very wild and doesn't look like there's much on the punches. Silver just stalking his prey now. I think Elk has now got his feet back from under him. But Ben, those, those fought shots from Elk just look wild with nothing on him, almost no form. Oh, another good left hand is in there by Silver. At least he's on the inside, he's throwing some punches now. Oh, a right hand and a left hook, a right hand, a left hook. Another right hand, a left hook. Oh, Silver's going in for the kill. Another right hand to the body. I don't think Elk can take very much more, Ben. There he goes, Elk is down, Elk is down. I don't think he's going to beat the count. No. Seven, eight. No, I'm wrong. He's up. He's showing game. How do you feel? Huh? Ten seconds up. You're going to go by. I was surprised Oak got back up. Silver, very relaxed, coming in. Another right hand right at the bell. Ben, we have a replay. It looks like a right hand takes Oak down the first time. It was overhand right. And then you notice there's a left hook. So it was both a right-left combination. I wasn't sure Elk was going to get up. I was sure he wasn't. Getting ready for round two. Light heavyweight matchup between Maurice Elk in the blue corner, Daniel Silver in the red corner. Elk down twice in the first round. Silver's coming out, trying to finish it off. Throws a right hand, but misses. It looks like we got a little more fight in Elk this second round, Ben. A little bit. 
Elk is trying to work on the inside. He got a right hook in there. Silva very relaxed, very confident. But Elk looks like, he, he looks fresh, but it looks like Elk is trying to make a statement that he's not going to go easily. Oh, an uppercut takes Elk down to the canvas. The ref absolutely has to look to see whether this is the last knockdown. Well, Elk surprising us again, getting up, getting up to the count of eight. Take this corner. You're done. Take it over here. I think the ref is waving it off. Knockout by Daniel Silver. A great pro debut. What did you see? I saw a good call by Eddie Obregon. This fight, it, it looked like it was over before it started. Well, what would impress me was Silver was so relaxed coming in. He looked like the experienced veteran. Elk looked very passive, very defensive. Silver looked determined. He always had the thought starting right off that this fight wasn't going to go four rounds. That's so right. we got a replay coming up, and we can see that final knockdown. What do you see, Ben? I see a right uppercut. Textbook. It looks like, you know, one of the things Elk talked about was that he had a hard time getting consistency in training. I think he really needs to make a decision as to whether he wants to concentrate on boxing and his business because boxing is serious business and you need to uh, train and be prepared for your fights. He needs to get some time with a coach. He was a coach's nightmare tonight, hands down. Ed, Eddie Obregon halted the bout at the 224 mark of the second round, ruling it in favor of making his pro debut a successful one, tenacious Danny Silva. Make sure you see the dog on the way out, all right? Okay. Right on you. You see that dog in the 